Nurse, there's something wrong with this TV. What's that? It's on. <laughs> <laughs> I told you this show was a bomb. <laughs> what was that? I think her medication just kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> Nurse, I'll have some of that. <laughs> Shakespeare would have hated that. You should know you dated his sister. <laughs> Boy, was she ugly. What would you do if you were a rich man? I'd buy the network and cancel this show. <laughs> mm, there's a lot to be said for this program. Too bad you can't say it on a family show. <laughs> That bit was breathtaking. Careful, you may not have too many left. <laughs> <laughs> Nurse, my medication! Get my nicer glycerin! <laughs> I'll just have a glass of warm milk. <laughs> I've got an incredible discovery. You know, what's that? When you watch this show, it, it hurts! <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. There's nothing like good comedy. Nothing like it on this show. <laughs> the show that has people all over the country saying, Where's the remote? <laughs> you know, they're calling this show a runaway hit. Yeah, whenever it comes on, you want to run away. <laughs> wow, can you believe that bear won the heart of Cindy Crawford? <laughs> yeah, what a bunch of nonsense. But it's worth a try. Hmm. Hey, nurse! Haruga! 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 Well, this isn't exactly what I had in mind. No, but it'll do till the nurse gets here. <laughs> What's the name of that famous song Tony Bennett sings? I left my heart in San Francisco. Big deal. I left my teeth in Minneapolis. <laughs> Thank goodness this show's almost over. So what happened to that blue freak on the missile? Whoa! Is he all right? I don't know. I'll check his bolt. If he's got one, I'll split it with you. Oh! 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 Did I clear the chickens? You know, this show really improves with age. Why? Because the jokes get better? No, because my hearing gets worse! Oh! <laughs> what the? How come that never happens when we're watching the Hot Bodies Bikini Contest? <laughs> this show's off to a fast start. Good, maybe it'll end quicker. <laughs> mm, that last number was a real showstopper. Too bad it didn't stop this show. <laughs> you and I have something in common. What's that? We both collect antiques. Ah. <laughs> See? A match set. <laughs> yeah. Let's watch, shall we? Do we have to? Yes. yes. Same as it ever was. Same as it ever was. Yeah. Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> that was quite a program. I would have only changed one thing. What's that? The channel. <laughs> Gentlemen, yeah. do you know what the problem is these days? They put this show back on the air? <laughs> no, it's the fact that the kids don't have a chance to fail. Uh. In the old days, we had a little thing that you used to call a, a vaudeville. And if you couldn't spin a plate, you didn't eat. Which is what I told the great Sophie Tucker in a song I wrote for her. For the Broadway show entitled Wigwam Serenade. Give me a C, a bouncy C. <laughs> Sophie Tucker was quite a girl, a red-hot mama who could make a plate twirl. The kids today, they don't have a clue with those nine-inch nails in the band U2. My scrambled eggs were runny today. Da, 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 dee, 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 whatever the heck else you want to put in there. Good idea.
I think I'll join you. <laughs> Waldorf, look at that! The show is ten times as big! Yeah! Too bad it's one-tenth as funny! Oh! <laughs> hey, let's see what else is on. Hand me that remote. Oh, oh it's big! Oh! Hey, careful! Oh! You know what's sad? What's that? I can't think of anything I'd rather do than watch this dumb show. <laughs> Neither can I. Hi, guys. Mind if we join you? I, I just thought, thought of something. something. Here, sit down. Yes, please. Make yourself comfortable. Yes, and how nice you look today. Boy, that show was bad. I wonder whatever happened to those cows. Here are your steaks. No, it couldn't be. Why not? Because these are well done. Duh! <laughs> the show that has people all over the country saying, Get that thing out of here now! Yay! Hey, why are you bringing that TV back? Yeah, it's, it's from, from the, the Muppets, Muppets Tonight, Tonight Sweepstakes. Sweepstakes. We won? No, we lost. Woo-woo, oh! <laughs> look at her shake that thing. You know, what thing is that? I don't remember. <laughs> I guess you've got to take the good with the bad. Yeah, but I'm still waiting for the good. <laughs> Boy, watching these grandmas has me feeling something I haven't felt in years. What's that? My pulse. <laughs> hmm, I'd give that movie four stars. Now, why is that? Because the two that are in it now stink. <laughs> hey, bartender, more pig's knuckles. Okay, coming right up. <laughs> uh, I'll just have the pickled egg. Okay. <laughs> I love you two old guys. <laughs> Poor guy cracked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mm, now I've seen everything. Good. Does that mean we can stop watching? No! <laughs> hmm? Hey, bartender. Didn't you used to be? Well, yeah, but a guy's got to work, you know. Not if he's smart, he doesn't. No! <laughs> <laughs> What'd you think of that sketch? Well, it was better than getting hit in the head by a two-by-four. No, it wasn't. Yeah, you're right. Hit me again! <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that stiff, lifeless, robotic acting? By Lincoln? No, by the rest of the cast. Oh! <laughs> Actually, I like Lincoln. You should like him. You voted for him. No! <laughs> hey, Waldorf, I think the TV's on the fritz. I'm seeing double gonzos. Only double? You should be seeing a lot more than that. <laughs> You know, when I watch this show, I find myself counting the minutes until it's over. Really? How many are left? Four! Huh? <laughs> I love that joke. <laughs> hey, 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 Welcome to Muppets Tonight. I'm your host, Blizzard. That's right, give it up. I know I have. Due to a slight guest star situation, Muppets Tonight has been preempted. Yay! <laughs> I'm not finished. Oh. Until we get a new guest star. <sighs> mm, well, Beaky, Kathy Ireland's first theory of guest star attraction is flawed. Mm. We've been out here in bikinis all day and no one's paid any attention to us. Woo. Maybe you should trade up to a one piece. Yeah, work for us. <laughs> this show's a lot like skiing. How's that? Because it's going downhill fast. Oh! <laughs> Boy, I'm sure glad we're up here. Why is that? Because after seeing that, I really need a lift. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go out on that joke? No, we're going out on this one. <laughs> that looks like fun. Um, I'm feeling a little nauseated. Is it because of the motion of the boat? No, it's because of the jokes on the show. And then there were the...
You know, yeah. this show reminds me of a 25 cent cigar. Oh, yeah? Why is that? Because it's cheap and it stinks. <laughs> <laughs> You know, this show reminds me of a glass of expensive brandy. Why is that? Because it's old and it makes my head hurt. Oh! <laughs> it off. Yeah, <laughs> nice work, oh, old God. buddy. Thanks. Well. Hey, yeah. what are you two doing here? Well, we just finished broadcasting our own show called The Worst of Muppets Tonight. Mm. <laughs> really? What did you show? The same thing you did. <laughs> <laughs>